Well, good morning. I did find the hoses that were in my wife's bedroom. I also found this in my bus. Brand new. It's a grease deal, and I'm going to take it with me. BF, best friend, I guess. It's the whole grease. I'm going to take that. Let's see what else I got. I also found a plug. I don't know how long I've had that thing. And then I found, oh, this, you got to listen to this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> about the extent of my singing. Found some more of them. Yeah, let's see what else we got in this bag. I got a multiple, multiple deal. You can plug in or whatever. USB and you plug it in. Got two of them, I think. There's another one of them. Those chargers. I forget where that camera's at half the time. Mm. Here's another one of them. That goes to my MP3 player. And here's one of them. I don't know what this goes. I put this on my keychain. Like the damn thing wouldn't have enough on it. But it's got every plug you need. Well, it's got two of the plugs I need. The third one ain't too damn good. It ain't got the new one on there. Oh well. And then I I decided, hey, I need these charge controllers in case mine gives up the ghost. A lot of good solar is gonna do you if you don't have a charge controller. These are brand new. This is just a tiny one, a little bitty one, but it work in a pinch. It's got two USBs on it, uh, MP3 or whatever, the, MP, whatever the hell it is, read. LED light display, PWM battery charger, it's got battery, and all necessity, blah, 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 equipment, I don't know what the hell, I'm going to put that in, in the bus, because I've been out with my charge controller, you try if you don't undo the thing or make a switch or something, you try to charge it from a, your batteries with a battery charger, it'll blow your charge controller out. I done learned that lesson. Here's another one. Ooh, this is a little bit more fancier. It's got a bigger book for this. Here's my two dollar bag. There it is. Solar charge controller. Here we go. Here's some specs on it. 12, 24, 30 amps. Maximum 50 volts. 50 B, B I guess that's voltage. Uh, input power 380 watts. Well, that'll work. I guess I got about that much wattage. I ain't got that much wattage coming in. I got about two something. I'm about a hundred pounds, a hundred deals off of that. And we got that done. And then I went in my wife's bedroom I, and I knit. I thought, well, let me go in there and dig and see what the hell's in there. I never go in there. But that's what I did. I'll load them up in this charge controller. Let me put all this crap back in this bag. I'm gonna have this. And then let me see. That ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna play with that. 
over there. I might pick up singing with the hay. The big boy went to pee. All right, and then these are the hoses that, that I was hunting for. It goes to my, let's go to a propane tank or whatever. This is the valve. I don't need that one really. That goes to the grill. I'm gonna keep them all together. Here's a stainless steel one. It goes to a grill. It's got a gauge. Tells you how low my your uh, propane is. Yeah, whatever. I'll show you the one I need. Probably the last one I pick up. This one right here. This is the one I needed. It'll screw into the tank. It screws into your bottle. It's got the little valve thing on it. My doll. If that one don't work, you got this one here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Here's that. This one here's got my, uh, oh, you screw it into your, uh, your tank and fill your little bottles up with it like I'll do that. I don't think that'll ever happen. I'll be left-handed come think of it. Let's see. Yep, it'll work. Anyway, these are the two I need. So I got all that, and then I, I remember going to Hawaii, and I bought this crazy shirt. I took it off the hanger. Should have left it on the damn hanger. Ain't that pretty? I'm going to wear the damn thing. It's brand new. Guess what I paid for it back in the day. Let me see. It's still got a damn tag on it. You guys, guess what I paid for it. And then look at it's 100% rayon. Machine washable. And this is what I paid for it. Back in the day. 60 damn dollars for it. Because it was a 3XB. It means long and big. I must have been on... I must have been drunk the night I bought this damn thing. Built good. <laughs> I will say that for 60 bucks, it should have been built really damn good. Oh, here's the name of it. Can you see the name? I wouldn't help the name of it. It's right here. There it is. Sorry, the camera's backwards. I took my band aid off. And that's what I've been up to. I don't know what the damn thing would cost now, hundred books, probably. But I didn't find the Colorado book. I found all my hoses, so. But I'll find it. I'm not give up yet. I'm gonna take this pile of shit to the damn book to the Amazon. Or why it ever got out of there in the first place. Cause then bigger bottles are easier to use. I'm only going to take one and my little ones. But if I run... Ow, look where I cut myself. See there? And that was shaving. Right along, right along the ridge of my jaw, underneath here, that skin is so thin you can't even run a razor over it. Don't have no hair in it anyway. And I slipped off the edge of my jaw and got in that tender skin and cut this far out of me. So there you go. That's all I found so far. Big boy, you don't need over here. He's coming anyway. Come on. They're all gonna fight, and you instigating the little devil. That's, 
little guy. Little guy, get out. Before I get in the middle of the dog fight and get my hand bit again. I'll go take you to the pound. They don't know the difference. Little guy, get out. Get out. Get out. Go. Jesus. Take the wheel. <laughs> That's the song. Oh, let me tell you. You guys need to stop that fighting. How am I going to travel with you guys fighting? I like to pull over. You know, I'll tell you I'll pull over. Why you tell my kids I'm going to pull over and beat the snot out of you? They ain't been whooped in their lives. I don't know about Lori because he was in a pen in the prison. He's a damn ex-con. <laughs> That's what I call it. He went from a puppy mill to a dog pound to a prison to be trained. So he's an ex-con. Probably smuggling contraband. Little, little God. Big boy. There's the puppies out of him and a and baby girl. Now, they say that they can go over there and fight. Oh, he's blocking the way so big boy can't get over here. He's on the arm of the of the van. <laughs> oh, crazy name, though. But anyway, I found the most important. That other book was just going to show me, uh, you know, uh, fire roads and uh, uh, lumberjack roads and stuff like that. I probably use Google Maps to find that. And I still might find it for you, but I got this, and I'm putting it back. These hoses, I'm putting them back in the damn ambulance. Come here, Ori. Come to Daddy. Oh, don't start that. Your phone break a hip, and he'll put you in the home. That's what them kids do. They have to break a hip and put you in the home. <laughs> They don't want to mess with you anyway. That's right. I'll move this bag. He's having a damn fit. Because it's in the damn way. Crash. It's in the floor. You pretty little devil. I wash your faces. You guys need your faces washed this morning. You got sleepy in them. Oh, I started the bus. Starts right up. I haven't started the ambulance yet, but I'm going to. Uh... Uh, let's see, where did I put the keys to the damn ambulance? I don't know. Well, that's it, people. That's all I got. I'm halfway there. I'm glad I found my little pot. I'm getting to where I'm getting crazy about stainless steel. <sighs> pop. That's where you put butter in it, too. Oh, well. Well, that's all right. I've got you. I got you, old man. Uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs> he's leaving now. They all left me. No, he's going on the footstool. Well, there you go. You can sit down. Talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Remember one another. Do the. If you like what you see, do what you need to do. Ow, your head is just.